All right, what's going on, my good people? This is your man, Devil Ron Dennis. You can just call me D, and I'm coming to you live right now with the crew. This is the Crew Talks. Let's get to know the crew. Who we got right here? I'm Shay McNeil. Tobias Griffin, the TB, whichever one works for you. And I'm Briar. And we are the crew. So, crew, let's talk. Now, let's talk. Kendrick Lamar, he had a performance at the Grammys. Right. How we feeling? We How we feeling? It. We all saw it. It was crazy. It was passionate. That's why I like Kendrick so much. All his performances, they're also thought-provoking. It's pr- refreshing. Very refreshing. I think I think it was very powerful. I think it was it deserved a standing ovation. Now, on the other hand, I don't, I can't say how another part of the crowd may have felt about it. You know, <laughs> they may have been a furious, you know, they're and they head to the toe. They're furious as they were about Beyonce, yeah. which is <clears throat> that would test the soul. Now yeah. that performance yeah. right now, I'm talking about. Kim I mean, Lamar. I think it was art and it was creative. I think people get it. That it, it really was a was. message and it's meant to be art. It really was. I mean, it was it was a dope performance. I ain't go front. Like I didn't get to see it live, so all I saw like I got to see it like after everybody was talking about it. Like Kendrick Lamar's performance was so dope. I see it. I see this man coming out here in his in his chains and whatnot in the prison mm-hmm. uniform. Like, like oh yeah, <laughs> I can see the white people getting angry right now. What is he, what is he doing? Attention. <laughs> people attention. And I ain't go front. Like the performance itself, it was dope though, because he did so many different things. It just went to our culture. Like he talked about the systematic uh, racism. He talked right. about. He showed up our uh, African ancestry. And he, right. The thing he did with Compton, that was so dope. The uh, little yeah. backdrop that he had for Compton, that was the dopest thing about the entire performance to me. Now, he uh, also walked away that night with, what, five Grammys? Yeah, five uh, Grammys. Matter of fact, if he said rap, he pretty much took home a Grammy for it. Every time, he, he just went on Every with time. It. Just let me get that. <laughs> I mean, but I check this out, though. So, okay, Dice Raw is an MC from Philadelphia, I think. Mm-hmm. And he stated that... Um, you know, you ripped the last Jimmy off hip hop musical mass incarceration. I, I mean, this is what I hate. I hate when people point out the worst things about people's performances. Like just because he may have like did something similar to somebody else, that's I, I feel like as a as a black person, you shouldn't that shouldn't be the only thing you took from that performance. There wasn't much similarities about it. Right. Uh, other than he um he had his performers in a prison cage and that was it. Yeah. And that's not really mu- much. Right. To I just. Man, and the words of my main man, Cat Williams. It's a hater's job to hate. Let him do his job. K Dot mm-hmm. killed right. that performance. Period, point right. blank. Let a hater hate. That's what he's supposed to do. He right. was mostly pointing the finger at the choreographer, not Kendrick. Okay. But yeah. it's still the same thing. Could have yeah. been his idea. Same mm-hmm. difference, same difference. All right. I guess we can move on to the next topic. What we got up next? Oh, my. Damn it. I thought it was off. Um, but, anyway. Moving on to the next uh, topic, what we got? Oh, Miss Marie Holmes is being sued by her pastor for $10 million. Because <laughs> oh, for those of you who don't know who Marie Holmes is, she was a lady that won a lot for $110 million. And she sat down with her pastor, Mr. Kevin Matthews, and told him that, um, how much did she say she was going to give him, like, uh, 10, 10 million? 1.5 billion, 1.5. And he's suing her for 10 million. Well, yeah. he 10 said piece. she said it. I don't know if she actually said, said it. Or man, not. listen. Well, he I, did say he depressed. I don't know if he's mind in the right That's what I'm saying. Like, he's suing her. Depressed. <laughs> because he depressed. I'm depressed. I need, I need Her, her I not need, giving him the money and depressed. I need to make me feel better. Man, what, how, did, how you depressed because she ain't giving money to the church like that? Like, I don't get it. Somebody help me understand. So, and it's for the building fund. I need help understanding it, too. Well, the thing is, is, I mean, I'm not sure of what's her state of mind, but maybe if he didn't go all out like this, she probably would have donated to the church. But maybe for him to make a big deal out of it. Man. How can you be depressed? Like about somebody else's hey, money. I know. think he owes somebody. I think the past of the deal is there. Right. Deal is different. Look, bro, that's what I'm about to say, bro. Because ain't no, ain't no way in the world, dog. This is, oh my god, he, he talking about it going to the building fund. Why she got to build a whole new church for them? What, what the hell is that church? It wasn't even Who all in this damn church? It was, it was a, a retreat facility. I don't even know what that is. It's yeah. so, what? what? A retreat for what? You go in the I'm, church, dog. Go in there, get the word, go home. Eat you some crackers and juice and go and get the hell up out of there. What is you talking about $10 million, bro? No. I'm just interested to see how far it will go. Like, I don't think he'll actually be able to, to <laughs> sue her for something like that. I don't he know. Sure, he you sure can't really try. sue her for word. I mean, if they had a contract, maybe. She but, I, don't think I mean, I'm trying to figure out yeah. why she got to be on it. Like, is he suing anybody else in the church that, that said the same thing? Like, he go to the church every Sunday, pastor, like, yo, bro. Need y'all pay y'all tithes. If y'all repaying the tithes, say amen. Everybody say amen. Nobody pay tithes. He ain't suing them. So I don't understand. It's because she got all this money. He think he's supposed to be suing mm-hmm. her. Not going to know. And Sister Jones in? <laughs> what about Brother Jones? <laughs> all right. It's crazy. All right. Well, we're going to wrap up this portion right here. This is the crew. And we'll be back in just a minute.
All right, people. So you, we back. You here with the crew? We got a new person in here. My man, introduce yourself. What's up? Uh, I'm Elwood. <laughs> All right, Elwood, man. We're gonna go ahead and dive into something a little, little bit old, but it's still a little bit relevant. Let's talk about Meek Mill and his uh, beef with Fifty Cent. So, how y'all feeling, man? I ain't gonna lie, Meek Mill. He really, he he really starting to irritate me. Why don't he just go somewhere and just sit down? <laughs> he, he really just stop. can't win. It's been a long time since that Drake beef. Oh, just let it go. Like, that's I feel like you're itching to say something. Okay. You. Elwood, if you are, just, you know, jump in, bro. Yeah. But listen, the Meek Mill thing, like, the only reason why I'm tired of Meek Mill is he's making us dark skinned folk look real bad out here. Like, he's making the dark skinned association just look terrible out here. It don't make no sense. I mean, you come out here, first of all, he brought, he brought this upon himself. He did the same thing with Wale. Wale ain't do nothing about it. Then he went out to Aubrey. Aubrey just wasn't having it. I feel like he got to the wrong people, though. Like, I mean, it, Drake, Drake, like, he, yeah. he, he unstoppable. He speaks for himself. But 50, 50 Cent, everybody knows, like, mm. you, can't, you can't go out to 50 Cent. Like, the, yeah. this is he, like, this is the shots he take back. Yeah, like, 50 Cent so. is the pettiest person walking this planet. Exactly, like, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like, he don't exactly. get no pettiest. He's a this, very <laughs> um, childish person. I mean, to be of his stature, like, you think he's... This business person, then he does something if you, real. If you had it, if you had it much money, then you would be. But <laughs> even the way too. he goes at the women is disgusting to me. Like I, I don't, I'm not a fan of Fifty Cent not, in that aspect. I, I feel like he he feels that just because he has money, he can do whatever he wants, which is true. I mean, he's also like a legend in the business. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he had those two dope albums. Everybody so he got respect and money. Yeah. I mean, you just you can't come after Fifty because Fifty just he don't have no chill. That's the thing you gotta understand about Fifty Cent. He really don't have no chill. He ain't rapping no more, so it ain't like he gonna get on. Uh, but let me rephrase that. He does rap. He doesn't rap well anymore, so he's not gonna get on the track and dish you on the track. But he's gonna get on Instagram because he know everybody wanna laugh at you anyway. Smart don't care business. about the ball. He keeping himself exactly. relevant. Exactly. Yeah. Cause ain't nobody buying his albums. No, nah, I'm not buying my singles nah, or even no, downloading no. it for free. Nah, I'm not. I'm, I'm Fifty Cent. Just continue doing what you're doing. Dog. Do y'all think that Meek should have released the 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 this like well the album? Do you think it should have been like towards the whole controversy, or should he just like left it alone and maybe he should have left took it this alone. L like a G, <laughs> just left it alone. It's just a little really late. In, like, That's the thing strange. I really hate that Meek doing. Like every time he's down, he bring up Nikki. Like Nikki is the one thing that keeps saving him. I still got the baddest chick, homie. So what? What? I got Nikki. Like, I mean, she cute and everything, but damn, like, what else do you have besides her? Like, when she dropped you because you on house arrest, then what you gonna do? I'm... But I mean, I like the fact that they balance each other. Like, he's not jealous of her, like, overpowering his career. She can't be. You know what I mean? Like, it's a. At the end of the day, they all have money, so. Yeah. <laughs> and he's not afraid to fly. She just happened to be it's Nicki Minaj, problem. but it's yeah. just. It's, uh, it's, uh, as a man, I just don't like the way that he's just. So like who's, this, winning? who's winning? I'm sorry, who's winning? What? Meek uh, or 50? Who's uh, winning in like this? Like 50. I don't know. <laughs> I, I even though 50 it. is, he didn't even drop a song. Oh, right? damn. Like, now you said, like, I don't even know, because he didn't come back uh, with no rap or nothing like that, but at the same time, it's just like, because Meek bars were dope. I'm going to give him that. His bars were dope. It's just, 50 means in front of you, dog. I'm going to go with just the old simple. school way of doing things. Like, you put it in your music. Not, you don't not go to social no more. media. That's what I'm saying. 59 rapping. And then this is the whole thing. That's the Meek whole did, All this thing ca- came about because of Meek being on social media. If he would have never been on social media, we wouldn't be in this problem right I feel now. Like, yes. I feel like his shots come, like, late. <laughs> <laughs> do. All this comes from insecurity from Meek's side, if you let me tell it. Because uh, all this stuff, he, he just comes up out of nowhere. People ain't tweeting all his albums. He ain't his feeling. Like, but you never know what might be going, uh, going on behind closed doors. He could be telling the truth about this whole... Drake situation. Man, Drake make hot songs. That's all that matters to me. If a song hot, he does. I'm right, I'm he does. He it. does spit facts in his lyrics, but it's just like it's not funny, so nobody cares. Like, <laughs> but I just want to know why he came for Fifty Cent. I mean, Rick Ross and Fifty Cent have their own beef. Yeah, that was going on. Beef. I was in high school. I'm finna graduate college. Like that is no longer relevant at all. So why he came for Fifty, I never understand. I if it don't mind his it's, own it's, it's like by association, though. Like if somebody was messing with your little brother or your big brother. Then you will jump on him too. That in that moment, not three years later. <laughs> like I would do it right then and there. If you got beef, handle it right now. Don't much worry about it at all. No, like that Rick time. Ross and Fifty are still beefing. Rick, uh, I, I, I like, really have to get back into my Rick Ross. It's more so beef. silent, a silent beef now. Oh, see, that's why. Well, I not know. really, because like Fifty Cent, he linked like a sex tape of Rick Ross' baby mama. Oh yeah, like I something like that. So we gonna have to dive into that a little bit later. Let's let's move on to our next one now. 
I'm quite sure y'all heard about Kanye and his 53, <laughs> his $53 million dollars in debt right now. So let's talk about Kanye and all the problems he got going on. First things first, his album came out. I heard it's dope. I couldn't get it because he put it on title, and I wanted to buy it, and I ain't got a title. So. <laughs> I only have 30 days to listen to it. I mean, yeah. Free trial. But it's, it's really <laughs> good. It's really good. And it's hard being a Kanye fan because he's just, he's doing a lot. He's doing too much. Not really. Like, go fuck, man. You gotta, I don't know. Uh, I, I, I feel like I understand him. I mean, he I'm glad somebody do because damn. <laughs> if you look at his tweets, it's easy to understand where he's coming from because he's like, well, why spend my money on I heard him, ideas I heard him like say somebody something. else's? I heard him say something a while back that like really stuck with me. And he was like speaking to like black people. He was saying, Don't think because I have the most or the least money that I'm successful. So, like at the end of the day, because he he's like on these magazines mm-hmm. with all this money and, and different things like that, he can buy any kind of cars or clothes he he wants. Like it's still somebody behind closed doors that we might not ever hear about or may never know. It's cutting his check, and they yeah, got it's like triple he's not or successful quadruple. On his own. He's just yeah. trying to make people feel like it's okay. And he's trying to make to need fun. help. Yeah, to understand it's, like it's you can okay. go further than just being a rapper or a model or a singer, or whatever like that. We here on that part. This is my thing. Kanye said he wants help. He want Mark Zuckerberg to give invest a billion dollars into his ideas. No way, he did it. This is this is my whole this is my beef. Bro, the one thing I'm messing with of yours, I can't buy. It's your music. You got four thousand dollars sweaters out here that I can't afford, but I can buy a ten dollar album and I can't even buy it. That's the one thing that I want, and you ain't gonna give it to me. Like, come on, I don't, I don't get this. You get all this other stuff about I'm the next walk business. Listen, just give me the music. That's all I need. Turn off Twitter. I wish somebody would take his phone from him. Just be like Kanye, no. Just put it in your music. Just take his phone. I feel like give me my music. That's all I want. He he just molding America. Yeah. So say, he like, is losing a lot of money by only putting it on title. That's what like, I'm saying. A lot of people are, are five hundred thousand people. His, <laughs> he he has went gold. I mean, he. I think he knows. I think he's doing this now because, like, apparently, well, it's alleged that he's in debt because of his investment in his own, like, in his fashion business, which didn't kind of take off. There is a reason why. Good. There's a reason why he released the own title on title though, because it's just like this. It's just like. If you were pitching, well, like he, like he is, like Nike. He he had a, a battle with Nike, or uh, so mm-hmm. a few words yep. were shared. But like, if Both they try those to give, people don't know Nike wouldn't give him royalties on his shoes. But keep yeah, going. so if he's trying to pitch all these great ideas, and everybody gonna say, say, "Oh, Nike, Kanye West," I'm gonna go try to see like what's up. But since he made the shoes, and they won't give him a bigger budget to make more. They only gave him that one, that one opportunity. Yes. Then of course, of course, you're gonna protest Nike. You're gonna say, "Oh, they, oh, they just like my one idea, which sold out. Yeah. They don't want to give me more cool. money, so cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go this way." I mean, I understand. The we same with the music. The same with the music. We hear on it. Oh, this is my thing. Beggars can't be choosers. Listen, if you want to sell some stuff, sell it. That's the one thing that they're supposed to be global for him. Everybody knows that Kanye can make music. We all know that his fashion. T- listen. I'm not finna buy nothing I can make myself. Like all, you got, all I gotta do is rip this up, and I got the same thing Kanye couldn't make. It's I don't really want nice that. It's nice to look at the models wearing it hmm? than like buying it. It's better to look at. It's better to look at the people in it than buy it. Like what kind of stuff is that? Like nah. Yeah. Like this is all I'm trying to say is if he wanted to do all this, he got it. Like I said, beggars can't be choosers. I'm just gonna leave it yeah. at that. Like, but, but I think it's humbling to see an artist of mm. of his, you know. Be able to come out and say I'm in trouble. Like I, I'm in sixteen. Like apparently with BET, he told them that he went sixteen million in debt to get his line off the ground. Like to come out and be that open about things like that, I think it's a big deal. I, you have I commend him. him. I commend him for investing. You in have to spend. You got to spend like money to make money. Yes, you do. I, I commend him for it. Only thing is, ain't nobody liking nothing he putting up but the shoes, which I don't like either. But that's my, that's my own personal yeah. choice. But ain't nobody else buying no, all this other stuff. Ain't nobody Ooh. afford anything else he's putting out but the shoes. <laughs> but have you seen the reviews? Damn. Like, they don't like it either. <laughs> like, this is my thing. Like, it would have been different it'd have been, had it been dope. Like, nobody's even liking the stuff that he's putting out. The shoes are selling. The album would have sold. 500,000 people have downloaded this album illegally. So all I'm saying is, why would you not do that one thing that you know would sell and then rely on your clothing? Like, like... I'm, I can't afford a four thousand dollars sweater. I'm just gonna be real. If you want to make some money, put it in the stuff like that. Put it in. If you want to do it through title, have exclusive videos on title that you can only get if you are uh, downloaded through title. But not the entire album. Like you just cutting out people all together. That don't make sense to me. 
But it's like this, like artists, like which which he say he is a, a creative genius. Like they think outside the box, and most of the, most people in, in not not just America but in the world like don't like they don't think outside the box. So he's like a risk taker. Like I can go this extra step to to get whatever it is I want. I can conquer this. Like he's the person that's gonna take chances, and like when you take chances, you got a greater chance of failing, but you also have a greater chance of succeeding too. And that's a lot of a lot of times a lot of people won't take that risk. So right. you can't fault him for that. All right. We that's here again. We here on that. I wonder if he's gonna get the money. That's my question. Right. He'll be all right. All right, we got one more topic we gotta talk about, and I'm quite sure that everybody heard about my main man, Malachi Love. Not my bad, Doctor Malachi Love Robinson. <laughs> now, for those of you who don't know, <laughs> there's an 18 year old that's been posing as a doctor out in Florida. So, people. Can we talk about Dr. Robinson, please? Ladies, would y'all go see him? Let's, 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 let's open up no, right now. I would, would you, not. Would you go see him? No. Would you go no, see him? No. Nah. Would you go see him? I, I'll put it like this. If I went to a doctor here in this area and he happened to be the doctor, came in, hey, ma'am, you know, I'm doctor such and such. I mean, I'm trying to think, would I have the sense at the time to question if he's legit or not? But then again... <laughs> You just never know until you're in that situation. But he looks incredibly young, so I, ain't gonna I probably would be a little... My first thing come in my mouth, what's your credentials? Is there anybody here older? I need somebody <laughs> a little bit... I need, if I look older than you, and I know I look young, I don't I don't want this doctor. At least somebody that's been through some things. Yeah. I don't I don't want no, no Ricky doctor. I'm sorry. It's just, it is how I feel. But my main man, let's see here. He got arrested, what was it, yesterday, and he's out on what $21,000 bond right now. Let's see. He robbed the lady. He conned this lady out of, what was it? Over $1,000. Yes, yeah, over $1,000. This 82-year-old old lady, he, she went in to see the doctor. He, um, she said... She has severe back pain. No, stomach pains. It was stomach pains. Yes. Yeah, she mm-hmm. went to him. He diagnosed her with arthritis. <laughs> That's the first mistake. Well, I'm not a... I don't know. Listen, I don't, I don't know if you have arthritis in the stomach. Yeah, I don't I, know. Like, I don't, <laughs> I've never heard of it, but if you can... Who knows them for knowing that? Cause I swear to God, I didn't know you. Did not know you could have arthritis in your stomach. I promise you, I didn't. But so, how y'all, how y'all feeling about this? Like a lot of people feel like it, it was bold of him to go out and go and do this, and some people just feel as though that was the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Like this wasn't his first time. Like this is not his first time. Right. He's intelligent. Like he's intelligent. Like. I mean, I think it's smart to be able to do something like that but when you put other people's lives in danger that's when it's like okay that was crazy but it is kind of what was the name of the like. kudos to the man for being able to get out there and do this for like three weeks first and foremost like he had been there for like three weeks he got his own website set up he got people working under him and everything <laughs> and it, nobody had so like, how what? these women had experience like over 30 years of experience and they <laughs> they worked with him because I'm sure, like I said, he's intelligent. He he had to go home and research something. Man, get cool. the hustle. <laughs> the hustle is amazing. I ain't go front. Kudos to the hustle. But though, no, my favorite part of this entire story was what his grandparents said. That was like <laughs> his grandparents would say. One day we woke up and he was in medicine. Like we know what happened. And I'm like, how you not know? It's kind of adorable because I know they were proud. And they also <laughs> said like he he um. <laughs> Had uh, a few near death experiences, like he had lupus growing up. Yeah, okay, well, yeah. I mean, yeah, that can, that's enough to encourage you to go out. Okay, I want to help people and things of that nature. But at the same <laughs> time, I have very nosy grandparents. They want to know everything. How you do that? How you do this? So they just like, oh, you a doctor? And that's it. <laughs> he probably had a strong passion to 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 try to help people, or he probably felt like he probably felt like. Um, well, when I when I was going through this, there wasn't enough resources or help for me, so I'm gonna go out and try this same thing. That's when you go out and you go to college. Listen, yeah. but, Thank you. but 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 look, that also takes time. And when you're trying to help people right then, again, he's a risk taker. You got a, you got a, a greater chance of failing and a greater chance of succeeding. I would much rather him go to school and take a risk, or not go to school and learn something and take that risk to help people than not know nothing and be like, you know what, I'm going to try to help you. He diagnosed this lady with stomach pains with arthritis. I have never heard this before. I'm going to say this. Somebody Google school, it for me. Can you school. get arthritis by having stomach pains? I need to know. But school, school can be a distraction. As well, it's a lot of people who graduate from college who still don't know what's going on. That's true. That's very so true. So the time, the time that they're in college, being distracted by these different things that are going on, these parties, different things like that, he at home studying on Google, <laughs> diagnosing well, people. Well, that's true. <laughs> you know. my the <laughs> same stuff we learn in here, you you can learn like from Doctor. other sources. You just Doctor. won't have the. 
doctor. The marriage. Let's like, call it being an intern. Do, do, <laughs> thank interning. you. His, you know his uh, on job uh, experience was he shadowed other doctors. This is what he said he learned. He learned by shadowing other doctors. They inspired him. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted to be great. <laughs> <laughs> but all I'm, I'm saying is, this, I would, there's no way in hell I would trust this young man to do anything for me. Right now. <laughs> Even after reading the story and all this other kind of stuff, I'd be like, no. I, which, so you telling me that you would trust him enough to be like, yo, bro? Me got, personally, no, but I mean, I don't fault him for trying. <laughs> I'm just, had that been your grandmother, how would you feel? Because also, but, he kind of out of like $1,000. Like, he went home, he sent her to the hospital, and then when she, uh, he told her, don't take your purse with you. He sent her to the hospital. <laughs> left her, she left her purse with him, cleared out her bank account. He's a little kind artist, too. I was so, a, I'm just saying. He intelligent, like. <laughs> he's a hustler. <laughs> Let's just get, he's a hustler. We'll give him that. A con yeah, artist. Like, somebody is. Better word. For somebody to for somebody to go uh, and go in, like, practice these things, set up a whole website, influence all these people. Had a grand opening for his <laughs> office. Like, for him to, for him to go out and, for him to go out and do that, like, he can't be clueless in medicine. Like, he, he has to know a little something. Right, a little more than the people that's in school. I'm listen, gonna say that. I would trust him enough to diagnose me with the common cold, and that's about it. I'm not letting him <laughs> do anything else with me. I'm sorry. With that being said, yo, bro, we got to wrap up. It's my main man. It's Sebastian Hill. I wanted to bring him in for us to wrap up. I was going to tell you about the arthritis in the stomach, but we'll say Hold on, hold on. Time. What did you say before I we leave? I don't think you can know. have arthritis in the stomach. Okay. So. I, didn't, I didn't think so either. All right, people, this has been the Crew Talk, and we are the crew. Let's introduce our, I mean, say goodbye. Give us our um, Instagram names and things of that nature. Let's start off with my girl, Shay. What you got? Shay underscore McNeil. Instagram and Twitter. You can follow me on um, Instagram and Twitter at I am the key. And you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Briar Johnny Blakely. All right, and I was your host for this evening, Devil Run D. Dennis. You can follow me on all social media at Just Call Me D. That's J U S T C A W L M 3 D. And again, we are the crew, and we sat here and we talked. Peace. Yeah.